Hello, my name's Pete Simpson. I'm the Chief Executive of Anglian Water. I'm also Chair of Business in the Community's Wellbeing Leadership Team. And I'm delighted that Anglian Water have sponsored this Sleep and Recovery Toolkit, which has been developed in conjunction with Public Health England. Within Anglian, we have a wellbeing programme, a branded as Life, which focuses on making employees happier, healthier and safer. And sleep has a very important role to play in that. As an operational manager for many years, I'm well familiar with the impact that shifts and standby and incidents can have on sleep. I've also got a young family which has some impact. But one thing I have discovered over the last few years is just the benefits of actually some very simple practical steps that people can take to actually improve their sleep. So I hope you find the video useful and valuable. We've broken it down into three sections and it's something I hope that you'll be able to use to make you more personally resilient but also happier at work. So all of us sleep every day. Um, but few of us really think about why do we sleep? And sleep's important for our bodies in many different ways. It's the time in which our bodies recharge and restore those things we've used up during the day. So where we've been taking exercise, our muscles rebuild themselves, our bones strengthen ourselves, our brain refreshes its energy store to enable us to think and be alert and awake. And we produce certain hormones that we require for growth and for the day-to-day -day functioning of our body. So when you don't get enough sleep, it has quite serious implications for your health, particularly if you're not sleeping regularly every night and it goes on for a period of time. Gradually, your brain and your body are unable to refresh themselves. You're unable to repair that day-to-day -day damage. We know from the evidence that the most serious risks of not having enough sleep are the lack of concentration that causes accidents. In road traffic accidents, for example, sleep is directly related to the severity of many accidents and many people's deaths could have been averted if people were sleeping better and more in control of their sleep patterns. On a day-to-day -day basis, it impacts on the way we interact with each other, not only in the way we might make mistakes at work, but also in the way that we react to our colleagues and to our customers. Think about a time when you've really not had a good night's sleep. The next day you're likely to be that, just that little bit more irritable, that little bit more likely to give a sarcastic response or not be open to a suggestion or a constructive criticism. And that plays out in the way that we react to our colleagues and the way that the service that we provide to our customers is seen by them. So sleep fundamentally is important to us on a physical level, on a mental level and on the way that we conduct our business. And so from an employer angle, sleep's important because we don't want you to have an accident at work. We don't want you to be irritable with colleagues or with customers or with your family when you go home in the evening. We ultimately want you to be the best you can be.